Hi everyone, I am recording again from home as we continue to stay home. And today we're gonna to talk about some ways to help keep your kids safer when they have to go online, whether it's to do a class for school or chat with grandma and grandpa. So let's jump in. As the necessity of online learning has launched kids and parents into the world of video chat, whether you were ready for it or not, we need to find ways to make this experience easier and safer for your whole family. So today we're going to show you how to ramp up the privacy settings on three of the most popular video chat platforms, Zoom, Google Hangouts, and Microsoft Teams. Here's how to access privacy and other settings in Zoom. Go to Preferences and select Settings. Most of the settings you see are for the person who's hosting the meeting, but the more familiar you are with them, the easier it is to make sure your child is entering a safe Zoom environment. Look for things like password requirements, participant authentication, and encryption settings. All of the meetings your child joins should have these requirements and settings in place. It makes it easier to avoid hackers and Zoom bombing during what should be an innocent math lesson. Here are a couple extra tips to stay safe in Zoom. In the video and audio settings, you can turn off video and audio when you join a meeting so that you need to manually activate them. That gives you time to see what's going on, verify that the right people are there, and then let your child turn on video after you know things are on the up and up. And some rules for your child's profile. And this applies to all profiles, not just Zoom. Don't add a photo if you can help it. Try not to use your child's full name and always use a shared family email, not an email account that's privately assigned to your child. Next, we're going into Google Hangouts. In general, Google Hangouts is already a little more secure than Zoom. All G Suite products limit access to people who are already within the organization or school. And someone who's already in would need to give an outsider permission to access any Google Hangouts or Google Classroom meeting. But what can you do to preserve your child's privacy once they are in? Let's take a look. Go to the menu and select settings, and from there you'll be able to access the privacy settings. The most important thing to pay attention to is the invitation settings. We recommend using customized settings that require every person who wants to contact your child to send an invitation first. That's the safest way to keep your kids secure and block all direct messaging. A couple extra tips to stay safe in Google Hangouts. Setting up sounds to let you know about new messages or invitations can help you stay alert to any Google Hangouts activity, which means if someone unapproved did gain access, you'd be able to shut them down right away. And keep an eye on hidden contacts. We wish you could entirely disable this function, but as long as your child is using a family Google account that you manage, you should be able to check in and make sure no contacts have been hidden and you can block contacts. If you find someone acting fishy, you can block them and then be sure to report them to Google as well. Finally, Microsoft Teams. One thing that we like about Teams is that all new groups are automatically set to private. That means the only way someone can join is if they are manually added. But once you're in, there are a few more ways to lock down your privacy. You can set your account to do not disturb. This means that your child won't be able to get notifications from users while they're using Teams. However, you can give priority access to certain people, like yourself or their teacher, so that those notifications will not be blocked. Teams also lets you block contacts, like Google Hangouts, so if someone unknown is trying to contact your child, you can block their access. Again, be sure to report that user to Microsoft if you suspect them of bad intentions. And here's a bonus tip to help you stay safe in Teams. Make sure that the teacher or other group organizer has limited the permissions for members and guests. You don't want your child or some random stranger setting up private channels, adding or removing apps, or creating a new channel that isn't sanctioned by you or the teacher. You're always going to worry about your kids, but taking the steps you can to keep them safe during video chats will take away some of that stress. To find out more about keeping your kids safe online, subscribe to this channel and like my video and check out our complete kids internet safety guide on safewise.com. Stay safe.